Hello, welcome to my channel. Today, with the help of my daughter, Pranisha, I'm going to show you all how to make vedas. Hi everyone. My mom has now reached 180 subscribers. We would like to thank you all for the support and encouragement. We are really grateful. Okay. Firstly, uh, we had our pedal soaked overnight, washed and picked and soaked in cold water and drained out thoroughly this morning. And thereafter, I soaked uh, two dry chilies, which is optional. I soaked it in cold water for an hour or so. And I caught about five cloves of garlic, which Pranisha will help me to grind out. And the following ingredients are two te teaspoons of old jeera, two teaspoons of dhania powder, two teaspoons of jeera powder, two level teaspoon of salt, two level teaspoon of baking powder, and half a teaspoon of sugar. And for the greens, uh, we have a medium sized onions cut finely. Uh, two green chilies, but depend on your taste if you like it any hotter. And must remember we're using the dry chilies for giving us some color. And eight uh, stem of sh spring onions and some uh, dania leaves, all which are washed and cut. And thereafter for frying, we will need a big mug of oil, but you can adjust your frying pan. And for beginners, you can always use uh, plastic gloves that will make it easier to uh, make your vedas. But I'm going to just dip my hand into water and use my hands. Now we will let Pranisha to grind our dal. The dal will be ground with the garlic and the dry chilies together. Do you add any water when you grind in the dough? No, you don't add water. In fact, this is a dry, dry mixture. It will come into a smooth color when you use. In fact, this dal is two cups. Two cups of dal will actually make 20 to 24 vedas. It has to be ground very smooth. This is how it has to be done, quite smooth and sticky. Now we're going to do the rest of the grinding of the dal, and then we'll be ready to add in our ingredients. Now that Trancha has ground the dal for the vede, I am going to heat up my frying pan. The stove is on low. This is a big mug of oil and you can adjust your oil. 
but this has to fry with a lot of oil. So we will go, we will start adding our items, the onions. Chilies, spring onions, and the dania. And if you're having difficulty with your dal getting soggy, you can add a tablespoon of gram flour to bind it. Our two tablespoon of whole jeera and then our two table uh, teaspoon again I'm going to do two teaspoon of dania powder two teaspoon of jeera powder two teaspoon of salt and two teaspoon of baking powder. You have to level the teaspoon, otherwise your baking powder will go too much. And half a teaspoon of your sugar. All your ingredients are in. You will give it a good stir. prefer using my hand though so the ingredients can go in truly now the ingredients are mixed up uh, thoroughly so I'm going to make even size of little balls and then we can this is how I'm going to make the ball dipping my hand with water and I will keep them be on the plate while my oil is getting hot You have to work fast with your dough because onions let out water and then it becomes difficult for it to set. We cut the stove on on moderate heat. The oil is sort of uh, hot now. And this Pranisha with the pin wrap, she's going to use the plastic while I use it to the end. For bigness, most of them use the plastic. And they cut it. Right. And the reason why we make a hole in the center is for your oil to cook truly. <laughs> so the plastic is to help the vedder to come off the hand. Yes. See, we cut a little bit of the dry chilies and a little bit of greens. Mm -hmm. 
Later is a lovely tea time snack, um, a lovely savory snack. It generally goes well at Indian functions, um, before the function actually starts or after the function. Um, we often have it with bhajas and samosas as well, and rotis. Um, so it forms part of the savory um, class of Indian snacks. It goes very well with a nice hot cup of tea. And a lot of people like to have it with nuts chutney as a dip. Now it's ready to, to, to take it out. This is how it looks golden brown. Put your spoon there to drain out. Using a, a spoon with holes in it to drain the oil off from the vedder. This is how your weather is supposed to be. Nice and done. So there it is. While my mom is busy frying out the next batch, I'm ready to tuck in into my nice hot weather with my nice hot cup of tea. Um, thank you all for the support. We hope to get my mom to a thousand subscribers in 2021. Please like, share, comment and subscribe. Thank you. Enjoy. Thank you. Mmm, mm. yummy. That's divine.